And we turn now to a new battle in the culture wars. Over 31 words that millions of us began reciting as American elementary school children. The Pledge of Allegiance. A group of people who do not believe in public religion are taking their stand to a famous backyard. And here's Dan Harris. Here in North Carolina, deep in the Bible Belt, a group of atheists recently decided to remind people of the history of the Pledge of Allegiance by putting up six billboards all over the state, including one on the Billy Graham Parkway, which say, One Nation Indivisible, purposely leaving out the words under God. Atheists point out those words weren't in the original pledge which was written in 1892, more than 100 years after the country was founded, by Pastor Francis Bellamy as part of a campaign to promote patriotic observances in schools. One nation, the pastor didn't use the words under God. Congress added the phrase in 1954. So you think having under God is actually discriminatory? Um, I think it is for me because I don't believe in a God, and I don't believe that our country was founded on Christianity or any religion. Jennifer Lovejoy is a mother of two and wife of a disabled military policeman. I'm not taking away anyone else's belief in a God. Many of our forefathers, you know, feared God, but I, I think they feared religion more and what it could do to the country if any one religion was allowed to be in, in control. You know what it is? It's political correctness gone amok. It's silliness. Evangelicals are now fighting back. Over this past weekend, Pastor Ralph Sexton and his followers put up a series of new billboards that read One Nation Under God. We are a people of faith. We are a nation that's built on Christian principles. And we need to make sure our children, our grandchildren, our teenagers, our young adults know what we're really all about. The atheists, thrilled by all the attention, are now considering more billboards to continue to add fuel to the raging debate over the role of God in America's past and present. Dan Harris, ABC News, Asheville, North Carolina.